Morning, guys. Come morning, on. guys. What a morning. What a morning. <laughs> what a morning. How, are you, how are you feeling, mate? Tell me how you're feeling. Um, I'm excited, um, scared. I think all the emotions are there. Um, I just wish I was playing. I yeah. love these other games. <laughs> so we Brilliant. wish you were playing. I love those dollars. battles where everything, everything's on the line. I love it. I yeah. love it. Tell me a little bit about that mindset because your team, the teams that you played in, you as well, um, just this different kind of mentality. What do Ooh. Arsenal have to keep in their heads tonight when they go to uh, the Etihad? Uh, clear minds, completely clear minds, you know, focus on their jobs, uh, individually and as a uh, collective. Um, there's going to be pressure, but they're going to give pressure as well. Pressure will affect people in all sorts of ways, for sure. And uh, listen, Manchester City are used to this type of pressure, but you never know. You just never know. Um, yes, they've won every single time they played them there, but this is almost a cup final. You just don't know how it's going to end up. But as long as they're positive and they're going to give it all and also bottle that last 10 minutes against uh, Southampton where they're allowing themselves, just go, just try new things, play your football, go for it. And you never know what's going to happen. And that's what that's what it's all about. You've got to try these things and then you make your own luck in the game. You, you touched on it there, so because I, I, I think look, looking at Arsenal and I've said to, to Laura, we've been talking about this game now coming up for days and days. And I said mm. Arsenal really should go and play with no fear and have a right go at Manchester City. Because if there's any team in the league capable of doing it, it surely is mm. Arsenal. Yeah, for sure. I mean, against, against Southampton, they should have really fed the wingers like Saka and uh, Marcelli really early. Give it to them. There was always waiting for them to have two guys to attack. Give it to them when it's one on one. Things like that. And also change the game sometimes. Yes, we love the intricate play, but sometimes the easy kind of moves can mm. open up people. So don't ever forget that. So the simplicity can be is, is key sometimes in, in moments, but it's individual kind of uh, mistakes. Be you know That has to be eradicated. Everyone needs to be on it. Everyone needs to play the game of their lives. Sol, I wanted to ask you, with your experience of winning Premier League titles and such big games, what would your team talk be before the players went out if you was in the change room tonight? That last 10 minutes against Southampton. Yeah. Bottle yeah. that and see if you can actually play for, you know, 70, 80 minutes. You're not going to control the whole game, but if you can, you know, have that type of mentality, the performance and the breaks were off, but also defending at the right time, attacking at the right time, trying new things, trying, you know, playing together as a collective, bottle that last 10 minutes and then kind of move it you know, hopefully you can play the whole game like that. But for me, that you show they've shown everyone they can do it. So, do it. so if you were playing on the pitch tonight, how would you handle Harland? What would the plan be for that? Just be myself. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> hey, he's, he's quick, he's strong. I'm quick, I'm strong. I'm, I'm agile. Mm. You know, that's what it's all about. I'm up for a fight. Then, then at the right time to play football. If you were and Rob Holding, what would you challenge. do? Love the challenge. Huh? If you were Rob Holding, what would you do? Uh, I would not allow him to kind of get into the lane because once he's in that lane, it's hard to kind of get him off that lane. Get in that lane, disturb his running. Yes, they can. You cannot. You can't play. You can't defend every scenario. But for me, don't allow that space behind you as a, a defender. Always block it off. But don't block it off and stop. Block it off and run and, and change the position because the picture keeps on changing. There's a lot of running to do in this game, and you got to be prepared to run. So I want to ask you and, and watch. I think the biggest game of the season. Who tonight for you, I know it's got to be all about a team performance, I get that, yeah. but who's the one man for you in Arsenal side that has to perform? Perform, uh, Jesus, I think. Jesus at the front. Yeah. Really, really put that, that whoever's at the back line under pressure and keep on moving, keep on hustling, you know, don't allow them to build up play. Uh, give the uh, you know Arsenal back line to kind of time to push up because if he keeps on coming backwards and forwards, you know you're going to get pushed back. Yes, they're going to have majority of play, but if he can play play his normal game where he's shutting down and then when he gets chances, put him away. You know, you know everything else is there for him. It's a fantastic. Yeah. He's been unbelievable this season. And then feed the wingers early. You know, feed them early. They were too slow against uh, Southampton. Feed them early so they don't have to beat two players. 
you know, you can just beat one player. Mm, they made a mess of it in the first couple of minutes against Southampton, didn't they? You were in the crowd, you were watching some mm. great photos of, of you circulating. I actually just had a photo of you this minute. Um, I showed you it in the break. It was from <laughs> Theo Walcott. Theo <laughs> looks like he's about seven years old. Mind you, he still does to this day, doesn't he? It's a, fo it's a photo of you two at the training ground together. He says it was nine years ago, so he would have been 25. And he said yeah. he missed you at the game the other night. He said he was always grateful because you looked after him at Arsenal. Um, yeah. He caused us a bit of havoc, didn't he, uh, in the game the other night. So how do, how do Arsenal ward against that kind of, is it complacency or is it just Theo being Theo? Uh, I think, you know, in those key moments when you're defending, actually know what you're doing and don't kind of get lost. I think with that situation, um, it was like, you know, he's, he, once the defender sees your number at the back in that scenario, it's almost game over. But to react to that moment, maybe he should have dropped off really deep behind the last defender to kind of cut that ball. And then the only ball for, um, I can't remember who played it in, uh, is to his feet. And then that's another pass. So then you can always go back up to the uh, to the centre forward and say, right, beat me. You still have to beat me and the keeper. There, it's just the keeper to beat that scenario. Great ball, great position. But once the, you know, the, the centre forward sees a number on your back, yeah. it's uh, it's hard work. For sure. And you, you guys, you know that. The two centre forwards in front of me. So, um, I wanted to ask you, how good is, is this Manchester City side this season? Because everyone's comparing them with the 99 treble winners of Manchester United, your invincible side, the Mourinho-Chelsea sides, the mm. Tevez, Rooney, Ronaldo, Manchester United sides. How good are they? Incredible. I mean, they've got fantastic players around and also a great attitude as well. You know, Pep really has got those players kind of you know whoever comes in you know there might be a lot of money or a bit rusty but talented players he's kind of you know it almost cleans them up really good players almost cleans the really good players up you know iron out their deficiencies if they have got deficiencies uh, in their game but then he gets them playing as a team and he gets them you know understanding what he wants and his vision of football and obviously his vision of football is, is paying off for sure um it's a they're an incredible side Score prediction, so <laughs> I, I, I'm, you know, I'm going to say for me, Arsenal don't lose. I think it's going to be a draw. Oh. I think draw is not a bad thing for them. Yeah. Um, but really, I'm going to say also, I'm going to say they need to win. To, you know, to make it kind of really tasty at the back end of the season. Yeah, they really do. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wonderful, Soul, wonderful nice to join guys. On. Take care. I'll see you very, very soon. So, Campbell, Arsenal Invincible, 8 p.m. tonight, Manchester City are hosting the Gunners, a game that it means absolutely everything to both could, those teams. Could do both tonight, could those it, yeah. fan bases. Mm? Could do we sold tonight. Oh, yeah. what a defender very oh, much. absolutely very much so um, yeah. I'll be watching it in the pub in the uh, company of about 17 pints around me that hopefully <laughs> really you watch the cup less nervous I'm not sure yet I'm, you're I'm coming with go, me yeah, I might go meet Laura come on yeah, come with idea. me Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods Monday to Wednesday morning 6 till 10 on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker Talk Sport